Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today I'm going to be talking about the mining rig that I am starting to build here. I'm making this short video here about the parts that I've chosen, why I chose them, and just kind of the thought process that I went through when building this rig. So I will be releasing a more detailed guide about putting everything together, but I wanted to start first start off with like a part one and talk about why I'm using the parts that I am. So as you saw from the thumbnail here, we started with the Gigabyte Z390UD motherboard. And this is the motherboard out of the box. Uh, the reason I went with this motherboard particularly was I was trying to build this computer with the lowest cost for all of the components like the motherboard, the CPU, the RAM, all of that. I wanted the lowest cost leaving the most room for the GPUs. And the reason I ended up going with this motherboard was because it was about $120, brand new. It supported the LGA 1151 socket, which I am going to be pairing with a Pentium G5900, I believe. I don't have the CPU yet. If you missed the last update video, I did have an issue with the first CPU I got. Um, so that's why I don't have it yet and haven't started building it. But... The main reason I got this board was because you can see here there are six PCI slots. Uh, so we have three full ones and then three one X. So um, the reason I wanted six total was because once I get the risers, you know, I'll be able to connect up to six GPUs. Um, you can get cheaper motherboards for around like 80, 75 to 80 dollars, but they might only have three slots total. Um, and maybe only one 16x slot. So that's ultimately why I went with this board in particular was it had the socket I wanted, supported, you know, RAM is whatever, you just get the RAM that you have, and it's supported up to six GPUs. Um, so that's something that I really looked for in the motherboard choice, and I would recommend that you look for as well because you don't want to buy a motherboard that's cheap but only supports three CPU or uh, three GPUs, sorry. Uh, because then you'll have to buy another motherboard if you end up with six GPUs. So this one's a little bit more expandable. At the time right now, I'll probably only end up running about three to four GPUs in it, because that's all I have right now, which I'll be talking about the GPUs here in just a minute. But I wanted to be future-proof and be able to upgrade to have six full GPUs, using risers, of course, because you can't plug GPUs into the 1X slots. But... That's ultimately why I went with this motherboard. Um, so let's move on to some of the other components. So the next component that I'll talk about here is the RAM. Uh, I ended up going with just a single stick of uh, DDR4 8 gigabytes of RAM because for the mining software, you don't really need a ton of RAM. And this was what was compatible with the motherboard. And I believe it was about uh, 25 to $30. Uh, it is a different kind of off-brand V-Color RAM. But uh, you can see those are the stats there if the camera would focus. Uh, it might be a little hard because it's in the plastic. But uh, to read that for you, it's 8 gigs at 2666 megahertz. So nothing special, but I did want to mention it since we are talking about all of the components. Um, so that's, that's the RAM that I went with. And again, these parts, the motherboard, is more important obviously than the RAM, CPU, stuff like that. When building a mining rig, as long as it turns on and has relatively enough computing power to run the software, it doesn't really need to be, you know, like a quad core or 16 gigs of RAM or anything like that because all it, all it needs to do is just run the mining software and communicate with the GPUs. And you can actually get away with 4 gigabytes of RAM. But again, I kind of want to future-proof this just in case something does change. I'd rather have 8 gigs of RAM now than, you know, spend maybe a little bit less right now on RAM but then have to end up spending more upgrading it in the future. Okay, so up next is the power supply that I went with, and this is a 1,000 watt Rosewell power supply. I believe it was about $120, um, so this is something else that you really want to think about when building a mining rig. Uh, the power supply obviously is what powers everything, and depending on the GPUs that you're going to use, you need to really think about how many watts do I need to power the GPUs. Now, the ones that I'm going to be running, which I'll talk about here in just a minute, um, they do not need a 1,000-watt power supply. 
Um, when I built my first mining rig back in 2017, I went with a, an 800 watt uh, power supply and I kind of regretted it because I have upgraded it and it is close to that limit. But uh, you can see here the 1000 watts, those are the uh, different inputs and outputs. But uh, more importantly, if we flip it over here, you can see that it is um, semi-modular, but you can see that it has, come on camera, uh, four additional, uh, well, I'm sorry, two additional PCIe's, which with the splitters that comes with the, uh, the connectors here, that's up to four additional GPU's. Um, it has the, you know, the standard 24 pin uh, CPU, and then it also has a PCIe on here as well. So it can run uh, all of the GPU's I plan to use, plus there's four extra, uh, you know, hard drive, SATA, uh, floppy disks, stuff like that, power for the risers, uh, any SSDs, any fans, stuff like that. So this power supply I think will be really good and it is future proof if I ever upgrade the GPUs to something a little bit more power hungry. I do have the room to do so. Okay, so finally what I'm going to talk about here is the GeForce uh, graphics cards that I'm going to be putting in here. Now, these, if you were around for the old Bitcoin tips but back in 2017, you'll know that I started off mining with 1060 GPUs. These are actually the same GPUs I bought for right around, uh, I think it was $250 back in 2017. Um, so I still have them. They are the same still working great and uh, I actually upgraded my original mining rig to RX 580s uh, back in December. So I have these sitting here and that's why I decided to get this second mining rig built. Um, but I also have here 1660 Ti cards. Um, so they are gigabytes and you can see it's the you know dual fan edition here. Um, I really like these cards. I use one of them in my main desktop where I edit the videos for Bitcoin tips. I've mined on them, but uh, they are really good and they do work together with the 1060 really well because they both have six gigabytes of memory and they run really well together. So I'm really excited to kind of get this going and um, until I get the risers, I can run three of these cards on the board itself with those three PCI lanes that we talked about towards the beginning of this video. So that is really the reason why I tried to save as much cost on uh, this side of the computer was because I already had the GPUs. These GPUs have actually already paid for themselves when they were on the old mining rig. So the total cost for this mining rig was about $450. Um, now that is motherboard, CPU, RAM, power supply, and then some extra things like the fans. Um, and I think I, I grabbed a, a flash drive for Hive OS for about three bucks. So um, definitely a, a really good cost since these cards have already paid for themselves. I'm not really factoring it in. But to get these cards right now with the way that the graphics card market is, uh, 1660 Ti somehow is selling in the 500s. And you might be paying around three to 400 for a 1060. So... Uh, definitely, um, definitely pretty crazy, but I was glad I had these already, and I could sell them and make a good amount of money, but I think what I'll do is I'll just mine on them for now, and then if an opportunity comes up where I can upgrade these, I will for sure take that, and I can always do videos on that if the time comes, and I can always sell these secondhand on eBay and get some money for them. So, definitely really cool. Um, if you're looking forward to seeing the complete build guide of this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, check out the Discord at the link in the description below if you want to learn about more things cryptocurrency, meet some new people in the cryptocurrency community. Um, but I do hope to see you in my next video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.